let me show you how tender see look at this this is how tender it is or oh, this one check this out wow look at this oh so nice cooking up hi this is cooking up tonight Appa is going to make a braised pork leg yeah I have approximately 1.2 kg of pork leg here. You can use either the front or the rear leg up to you. Uh, rear leg is actually fattier. Today I'm using the rear legs. Uh, fattier and has a little bit more tendon. Yeah? So uh, the first thing, most important thing to, uh, to prep the pork leg is to blanch your pork leg. Shortly after this, I will show you how to blanch it correctly. That is very important because you need that step to remove all the gaminess from the pork leg itself. Right after that, uh, this is already blanched. So uh, later I will show you the process. So this is how you can uh, blanch your pork very easily. Prepare one pot of cold water. Then you can put in few pieces of ginger and some saucing wine. Uh, sorry, this is rice wine. Saucing wine also can even better actually. Then while the water is still cold, you can put in the meat. Right, uh, this has been boiling for the past about three four minutes. You can actually get ready a tong and also a plate. We can now actually uh, take out the, uh, the pork leg. As you can see from here, all these are scums uh, releasing from, especially from the bones. Yeah? Those are the source of gaminess. So through this method, you are going to remove at least 80% of the gaminess of any meat actually. Yeah? very very effective most important thing for you to take note is to put your bones or pork into cold water then only you re you uh, raise the heat next thing is to run this uh, over water yeah running water uh, to clean off all the residues then your blending pro process is done right here you see about a few pieces of shallot means some garlic, some ginger, and also fresh coriander roots. You want to uh, saute these four, these four items here to really bring out the beautiful fragrance. Then we have some dried, um, dried spices. So I have some dried spices here. Bay leaf, one to two pieces. Two pieces of cinnamon stick, two to three pieces of star anise, and one black cardamom. To give it more umami flavor, I will be adding some of my cooking apa chicken stock powder where you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Singapore for those who are interested. Those who are not interested, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's optional. First thing you will notice differently is today apa is actually using a pot rather than pressure cooker to make this dish. Now, uh, they are good and bad between the two, but in order to really get the best from your braised pot, actually you need to use a normal pot rather than pressure cooker. Later, I will tell you why. So first of all, we shall give a bit of uh, oil inside here, inside the pot. And we will put in the gingers, garlic, fresh coriander, and also cor coriander roots. Uh, shallot and also coriander roots. I think I'm using a 26, cent 26 centimeter pot today. I hope it's enough. Should be enough. So saute this to really bring out the fragrance of all these fresh herbs. Yeah. Keep on sauteing. Uh, Appa is using a cast iron pot today. So the more, so it is not non-stick. Yeah. So you need. I actually need to stir even more. They come back shortly. Now when you start seeing uh, the ingredient here started to become brownie, you can put in the uh, dried herbs together with the pork. This is blanched pork. Some will do caramelized sugar. I don't do caramelized sugar today. Uh, today I will just um, use the dark soya sauce to get the camel rice effect. Now I'm going to uh, reduce the heat. 
and we are going to add in the sauce. First of all, two, three rounds of light soya sauce. About two to three tablespoons of dark soya sauce. Don't put too much of dark soya sauce here, it can become bitter, yeah? I'll give it some salt. Some sugar. Few dashes of uh, my Vietnamese premium fish sauce. And one small bowl of Saoxing wine. Now you can raise the heat to medium high. I still got two, two more things to add in. Number one, 13 spice powder. Uh, this is like a big brother of five spice powder. So you can, if you can't find this, you just use um, five spice. And I'm going to put in some of my cooking apple chicken salt powder. Give it a few stir. See, immediately I've gotten the caramelized color I wanted also, but this is actually from the dark soya sauce. Wow, already it smells really good. So later, you uh, after this, you spread out the pork leg evenly. Now is the time where you want to add in some water. Just enough to make sure all the pork leg is submerged under the water, that's it. You don't have to add too much. Now, the thing about making a good braised pork is you don't want to be too diluted. If it's too diluted, uh, you won't the the you won't feel the gelatinous yeah and the collagen coming out releasing from the pork leg itself. And this is one of the reasons why I'm actually using a normal pot today, because by using a normal pot, if you cook it for about two hours, uh, the broth is going to reduce, so it's going to taken out and in later you're going to feel the gelatinous inside the broth itself, which is fantastic. Um, if you use a pressure cooker, now the thing about pressure cooker is you get to preserve um, at least 95 or 98% of the, uh, uh, the broth itself because it will not evaporate. <laughs> the water inside pressure cooker will not really evaporate. Therefore, it will still be very diluted. So that's the difference between the two. Um, pressure cooker, you can really get the tenderness and also the... Uh, the softness of the meat and the, the skin, but you don't get the nice broth, you not know, thickened broth that you, uh, that you cook uh, if you are using a normal pot. But I like to use uh, pressure cooker more often because it's easier. Um, using this, you need to keep on every half an hour to come and check on your uh, broth because it will evaporate, remember? <laughs> All right, so next thing, this is already boiling. We want to close the lid. Oh, this is 24 centimeter. Sorry. All right, close with a lid. And uh, I'm going to put it in medium low and cook it for at least about two hours. So after two hours, I should be getting the, uh, the beautiful uh, thickened sauce that I wanted. But the thing is, because the water will evaporate, therefore every half an hour, we need to come and check the water level. If the water level is too, getting too low or too dry, you actually need to add in a little bit more water and also uh, um, uh, saoxing wine. Oh, by the way, uh, you do need to uh, take precaution on the water level. Like this, this is only approximately half. So I, I'm not worried about overflowing. So if you put it too high, the water level too high, then it will overflow. 
So if it's too high, then you probably need to open this a little bit. Open the lid a little bit. I'm going to this one. I will close it. Um, the uh, so the the moral of the story here is for you to use a bigger pot lah. Today I'm using 24 centimeter for uh, 1.2 kg of pot. All right, this is after about two and a half hour. Uh, why two and a half hour? As I will explain shortly. Okay. Wow, you see my whole house is has been uh, super super fragrant for the past two and a half hours. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Okay, so what happened in the past two and a half hours was that after the first hour, I actually opened out. I actually opened out the pot, uh, the, the lid, and uh, the water level actually reduced by almost half. So I actually added on and uh, until it is uh, original uh, uh, state, yeah, which is just nice to cover the whole thing and continue let it uh, uh, cooking or simmering under medium low heat for another one hour which actually becomes something like this so the the broth reduce again yeah the boss re reduce again and i off the fire and i let it continue simmer actually without any heat i let it continue simmer for another half an hour this is why i it took me Two and a half hour to really get the kind of tenderness I wanted. See how tender is. Let me show you. Let me show you how tender. See, look at this. This is how tender it is. Or oh, this one. Check this out. Wow! Look at this. Oh, so nice. Right. This is exactly the kind of tenderness I wanted and. The sauce, this is already taken out by itself. So this is the kind of consistency I am looking for. If you are using a pressure cooker, seriously, you can't get this consistency. You can get the tenderness, no problem. Um, and you need, don't need to every uh, come back to check the water level or the broth level every one hour or half an hour, like what I did just now. Uh, but seriously, if you cook it this way, it really will taste better. <laughs> Alright, so um, up to you how you want to cook it. Seriously, this is up to you. Alright, so here's my very simple uh, cooking appa style of braised pork leg. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.